Welcome, 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 collective. This is Queen here back again with another energetic um, general reading for the collective. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. If nobody's told you they love you today, I love you today. With that being said, we're going to tap right into the energy here. Cleanse the energy for my collective, for myself. And invite the divine spirit in, the spirit guides, to guide us through these messages and the ancestors. To give us the answers that we seek. All right, the messages that we need to know, the messages that we need to be aware of at this time. So let's tap in. We'll see your Holy Spirit for the collective. Please and thank you. Messages for the collective. Please and thank you. I can see already this is going to be some sort of messy situation, but um, we're going to tap in and see. Thanks for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the love that you show the channel. I'm sending that love right back to you. A thousand folds. Um, you guys are deeply appreciated. Um, just don't know how much you're helping me. Just want to say thank you. What else is here? What do they need to know? Holy Spirit. Yeah, somebody's refusing to let somebody break their heart. What I'm getting here. Somebody's feeling stressed out. Somebody's thinking a lot. Okay. There's a lot of tension and turbulence. What's collective needs to be aware of, Spirit? Please and thank you. What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? What's here for the collective? Cloud of judgment. Yeah. Something doesn't seem right. Um, something seems distorted. Or there's a, a situation that's unbalanced here. I mean, something's not fair. Or somebody can't see something clearly. Like, something just happened out of the blue. Like, you know, something unexpected. What's your Holy Spirit? Oh. There's some sort of coming clean or some sort of message um, that's going to, somebody's going to have to confess something here. Okay. Yeah, somebody's going to have to confess something or something's um, going to be made known to you, collective and masculine. Hmm. Give me one more sphere. Oh, there's some type, somebody's going to make some type of confession here. Yeah. About coming clean or some clashing or some conflict here. Okay. Why there's conflict. Um, why there's incompatibility uh, between you two. Okay. Why there are differences. What else is here, Spirit? I don't know, we could have uh, some witchcraft here, some um, black magic of some sort, negative mindset causing a lot of conflict here. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm getting that somebody could be doing some type of love spells on somebody here. I don't know. Hmm, somebody's going to be put on the spotlight here. Trapped. Okay. Somebody's feeling stuck and tied down. All right. Um, or stuck with somebody. Hmm, somebody wants to get away. Okay. They're not sure what's going on around them here. Hmm. But the Spirit is going to force somebody to come clean. There's some type of message that you're going to be receiving here. Okay. The reason why you're clashing with this person here. Okay, I'm getting um wow around October. October. Hmm. What's here, Holy Spirit? I'm here breaking free. Okay. After you receive this message. Okay. Somebody's going to take a risk here 
Okay, and confess something here. Okay. Because somebody's, uh, you know, had enough conflict in their life. Um, the incompatibility is stressing somebody out here. The tension, the arguments here. The negative mindset. You know, always thinking that, you know, what this, what is this person doing here? Yeah, somebody's depressed in a relationship here. All right. Oh, wow. Somebody feels trapped. Okay, somebody's ready to let go of this clingy energy. Okay. Hmm. Somebody feels like somebody, somebody may not be speaking to somebody here. Or somebody might be stonewalling somebody here. Somebody feels shattered and broken here. Heartbroken, destroyed because of some type of confession. Or something that they're going to be finding out. Yeah, somebody feels, feels like they've been trapped in a situation here. And they want to set themselves free. Right? Um, they want to take that risk is what I'm getting here. Because they don't want to be stressed out. They want to don't like the tension. They don't like the arguments, okay? They don't want to be depressed anymore, okay? I don't know. I, I think that I feel like this is this, this energy is like a forced confession is what I'm what I'm thinking here, okay? Wow. Hmm. Anything else in here, spirit? Would like to reveal to the collective. I'm hearing a forced confession. Yeah, about what somebody's holding on to and keeping somebody else trapped here. Somebody's obsessing. Okay, somebody's trying to hold on to somebody. Somebody's spying on somebody, obsessing over somebody, keeping somebody stuck, tied down. Somebody wants to take a risk and be free here. Somebody's tired of the tension, the turbulence, the arguments. Somebody's tired of being depressed here. Spirit is forcing somebody to come clean um, and confess something. I'm hearing confessions. Okay. Wow. Why there's differences. Why there's incompatibility. Why there's clashing. Um, why the negative mindset when it comes to um, this establishment of a family. Uh, somebody's foundation here. Or somebody's security um, in a relationship here. Okay. Wow. Somebody feels withdrawn here. In this situation. Somebody feels lonely. Okay. Wow. Somebody wants peace. Alright. Somebody wants peace here. Give us more of this energy, Holy Spirit. Yeah, because they, they've been going through an emotional storm here. Lots of turbulence, lots of tension, lots of arguments. This is affecting somebody's um, a mental state of mind here the emotional state of being okay they feel really unstable in this relationship somebody's really depressed here all right uh, this is affecting somebody in a negative way okay and they want to take a risk all right and get out of it i um see that there's going to be some confessions which means um whoever wronged you did did it more than one time okay um, they're going to be coming clean. Spirit is going to take the veil off of this person. Okay. Off of this karmic energy here. Okay. Wow. This person may have been avoiding you. Or you may want to block this person. Or you may feel like this person has been pushing you away. Okay. They've been very shallow towards you here. Yeah, you're thinking about walking away. Okay. You feel abandoned, rejected. So let's see what else is here. Yeah, this person's been acting pretty shady, but we're going to figure out why. We're going to dig a little deeper as Spirit reveals the messages to us. Okay, Collective? So we'll see with this energy, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Clarify for the Collective. What they need to know, what they need to be aware of, what they need to know, 
Yeah. Somebody feels like somebody's been hustling in here. I can take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. Okay. Hmm. Somebody's trying to compete for somebody's spot here. Somebody's feeling rejected. Hmm. And their partner's feeling unfazed about your emotional feelings here. So, what's here? What do they need to know, Holy Spirit? What's the tea? On this karmic energy. What's the tea? What do they need to know, Holy Spirit? What do they need to be aware of? At this time, please and thank you. An offer here. We have an offer. Hmm. What else, Spirit? Please and thank you. I've seen it come out, so hold on, collector. Let me get the card to flip. Oh, when I'm flipped over. And despair. Despair. Somebody's full of anxiety here. Okay. Wow. Somebody's speculating about an offer here. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody's in doubt here. All right. I don't know. Maybe you don't believe that your person's been creeping. But the Spirit is going to show you <coughs> that they've been creeping on you, collective. You don't believe that they've been creeping on you. You don't believe that your person made an offer to somebody else. <coughs> Hmm, you have cloud of judgment. Wow. Here's a shocking confession. Okay, that your person's about to make to you here. Okay, about your family, your commitment, your union, your ties to this person. Alright. There's somebody that's obsessing over your person or your person's obsessing over somebody. Yeah. Wow. This could be causing your cloud of judgment, like, you know, um, your person making somebody another offer. You would think that they would say no, but to know or to feel intuitively that your person is creeping with someone else could put you under a lot of stress, anxiety, and sorrow here. An emotional storm, to say the least. Wow. You feel really unstable. You feel really lonely. And that's because there's confessions your persons are about to make to you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Somebody's person here could have given them an STD here. What else is here, Spirit? What do they need to know? Yeah, somebody's person here is pretending here. Mmm. And they don't want you to know. Or you may be haunted to find out the fact that your person's been creeping with somebody else. You could be, you know, this could have caused you some type of trauma to find that your person wasn't really who they said they were. Because they're going to be confessing something to you. Hmm. Yeah. The reason why they kept you waiting or the temptation or why they were always busy here is what I'm getting here. There's another side to this person that you don't know about, but it's about to be exposed. There's confessions, which means this person did more than one thing. Okay, wow. And what motivated them to do this, whatever this thing is that they did here. Okay, this temptation. This obsession, why they kept you waiting, why they were always too busy for you. Okay, you couldn't think clearly. You didn't believe that your person would do this to you. But you're about to get some confessions about what your person did here. What else is there? Okay. Why the relationship has left you feeling empty. Um, bored, you know. Bored. 
discontent. Wow. Yeah, your person has a bad reputation about doing something here. Hmm. This person may plan on moving. They haven't told you. Because they've gotten another offer from somebody else here. Somebody they've been obsessing over here. Somebody um, that they've been having a, a love affair with. Okay. Wow. They're going to be moving with this person here. Alright. They've definitely been creeping. Okay. With a secret lover. That's a confession here. Okay. Your person also may have contracted some type of STD. Or... I don't know. They just can't come forward and tell you that. Wow. There's somebody who's demanding that they leave you. Okay. This person would do anything to get your person away from you. This is a happiness hater. Okay. Wow. What else is here? Oh, my, my, my. I ain't going collective. This is a happiness hater that's trying to dig up some type of dirt on you. Okay. Oh, wow. Or dig up some dirt on your person, or there's going to be some dirt dig up on your per digged up on your person. <laughs> and your person's going to have to confess here. All right. They are wolf in sheep's clothing. Your person really has some sort of bad reputation. Some type of obsession with this secret lover here. Um, I'm getting that they have plans on moving um, towards this um, secret lover. If not moving in with them, moving towards them. Okay, because they're obsessing over this uh, karmic secret lover that they want to hold on to. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? This person feels that, and you know I keep it real on this channel, that you played out. <laughs> That's some shit. Wow. But actually, you're the queen rising. Your, your person wants to run towards somebody here, but they're running towards a wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody else, um, a karmic secret lover that has a bad reputation okay you're stepping into your power by escaping um this person that wants to avoid you is what spirit is saying here okay maybe this karmic secret lover was trying to dig up some dirt on you so your person would run towards them and leave you okay because I don't know, your person is holding on to this secret lover, and the secret lover is holding on to your person. They're both obsessing over each other, and it's creating a lot of turmoil and instability, instability in your life here. Your person has been avoiding you, pushing you away. This is why. These are those confessions here. Somebody's trying to cock while coming between your relationship. Um, this third party karmic here, the secret lover. Okay, it could be more than one. That's why I said confessions. Your person could be sleeping with multiple people, having uh, several romantic love affair partners, several um, romantic uh, secret lovers here, okay, that they run towards here, okay. You may have just come into the spotlight here or something. Your person could have become jealous of you or something like that. It's the energy. I'm getting here or this karmic has become jealous of you because you you're in the spotlight now okay you're being praised about the good things that you do okay the achievements you know the goals you set and achieved here or something here um, yeah, mentally physically or spiritually yeah they want your person to reject you all right um, this person that your person is having a, a love affair with Okay, they're having several love affairs, and I don't know if this karmic um, energy thinks that they know that your person's having several love affairs. I don't know if this person thinks that they've gotten one over on you because you're already feeling like your person ain't shit. 
But this karmic is about to find out your person ain't shit. Or they're being uh, funny. Yeah, because they're going to do them the same way they did you. Thank you. I move on. I'm moving on. Next. That's why I said your person could be moving or moving in with the karmic. Okay. Yeah. Your person has love on the brain. Your person is just a fantasizer. I mean, they fantasize about having romantic love affairs with other people here. All right. This is one of their fantasies that they have. That's another confession spirit said. They have fantasies about having um, romantic love affairs with other people here. Somebody here could have married for money. Okay. Because they see that you're in the spotlight here from masculine here. But they've been avoiding you, blocking you, pushing you away here, rejecting you because they have love on the brain. I'm getting that this person even may um, be involved in group sex here. All right. Yeah. But there's a there's a karmic. Wow. That your person is running towards to towards. Um, I don't know. For some reason, they want to try to smear your reputation here. Because they have a bad reputation. Wow. I've seen something about giving money here. They want to knock you off your square. A spiritual hater. What else is here? That ain't shit. Somebody that wants to cock block coming between your relationship with your person. With all this karmic clingy energy here. Not knowing that your person, what they do to you, they'll do to this karmic too as well. Okay, as they've done to several others here. Okay. Wow. Somebody's being stalked here. Okay. Somebody's fantasizing you. I'm getting your person is, is fantasizing about somebody. They have some very dark secrets here. They fantasize about being in romantic love affairs. They're stalking and watching and obsessed with other people. I mean, it's like a thank you next type of thing, you know? Wow. And somebody could have married somebody here for money and they're still doing this shit. They're never satisfied is what I'm hearing. This person might have hooked up with somebody and caught an STD too as well. Somebody's person here. Yeah, somebody's hooked on just stalking and watching people, obsessed with people. Like, somebody's hooked on having romantic love affairs, cheating, okay, with multiple people here. Possibly, like, they're always, why can't they just say no to these offers from these easy ass, sleazy trash bags out here? Wow, maybe you feel like your person could just say no, but I don't know. Is, is the way that your person moves that they have a way of getting people to accept their offers, even if it's just one night stands? Yeah. Your person just in, in, enjoys uh, having romantic love affairs, stalking people. They have an obsession, obsession for that. They're hooked on that. If there's a fantasy that your person, oh, your person's a dreamer. <laughs> It, your person has a fantasy of obsessing with um, karmics, the masculine or feminine. They love having romantic love affairs with other people. They love cheating in the relationship here. Constantly having love on the brain. But it's all just dreaming, fantasizing. and But they put their fantasies into action here and it's not making any sense. Why can't they just say no is what I'm hearing here. But they're hooked on doing this shit. Mm. Wow. They go out looking for people to date here. This is what made you curious about your person here. Um, this is what made you distrust them, become curious about them. You see a dark side of your person here. Wow. Maybe you, you, your intuition told you that your person was creeping. 
your person wasn't, you know, who, who they represented themselves to be to you. Your person really has a bad reputation of having uh, secret romantic love affairs with others here. Okay. And they'll get with these other karmics and, and, and they'll have a romantic love affair with them and then they'll move on to the next person. And I'm getting that they do this to several people. Yeah. This is a confession your person has to make to you that they they are a stalker. Yeah. They're an obsessed stalker. They have fantasies that they have to fulfill. All right. They talk shit to these people. To these karmics. These karmics fall for their shit talking. All right. Man, they got a way of, of tricking these people. Oh, right into the energy here your person does whoever they are all right so let's dig a little deeper what's your spirit tell us more about this karmic energy mm. your person is a show-off whoever your person is it's a show-off and whoever these uh, karmics are out here they want to be you so bad like these are some thirsty ass bitches and motherfuckers. They will say anything and do anything and make shit up to be dramatic just to get with your person because they see you in this uh, um, king or queen position in your life right now. Okay? And these karmics do this day in and day out. And it don't bother them a bit that they're getting used like a motherfucker here. Right? Hmm. Is your person just fulfilling fantasies out here? But your person's wrong. And they're going to be confessing this shit to you. Okay? They have constantly have love on the brain. But with multiple lovers. Yeah. What's this here, Spirit? Spirit said, change your plans without telling anyone. You might want to do a little snooping here. Okay? You might find some... Um, Hmm. But you know the, the 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 thing about this is, your person doesn't even understand themselves very well as to why they do the things that they do, what motivates them towards this temptation, um, why why are they so easily dis distracted from you? Okay, your person thinks they suffer from some type of mental um, disorder or mental disease here as well as possibly catching an STD, but they're constantly watching other people, stalking other people. Hmm. Your person is, is, is full of anxiety too as well. What is this here? They don't even understand why they do this. What's their Holy Spirit? What's the collective need to know? They meet at hotels. What else? They got a lot of faith in you. Somebody's name is Linda. Here. Tiffany. Faith. Okay. I don't know. They don't want to end it with you, but they have... A serious issue. <laughs> wow. What else is here? They know they have a problem. Yeah. And all these lovers, it's just too many responsibilities. Yeah, and it's causing your person a lot of anxiety. Especially if they caught some type of disease or STD here. Yeah. From this obsession. Obsession with sleeping with others, this temptation, the reason why they're always busy at the hotel. All right, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting something about the hotel. Okay. They can't, they can't tell themselves. Their mind is telling them don't go, but they can't, they can't stop themselves. It's, I don't know, it's, they have love on the brain. They, they're hooked to this shit. They can talk shit to people and get them to do whatever it is, okay? Wow. Wow. What else is here? 
Let's collect the needs and now. There's a lot of unanswered questions here. Okay. About why your person can't go. They can't even answer them themselves. <laughs> why your person has to have these sex fix with these different karmics. They can't even answer that themselves here. So let's see why. Let's go with this deck. And see why your person can't stop their secret obsessions or who they're secretly obsession with. Having these secret obsessions with. Thank you, Spirit. Your person needs to slow down. Slow down. Wow. You need to change your plans and backtrack on your person. You may catch them at the hotel. What's your Holy Spirit? Your person's a manipulator. Okay. Mm -hmm. You felt that they were having, um, you know, their way with other people. You felt it in your heart. Is what I'm getting at. That your person was creeping and having a love affair with someone else here. Yeah. This is why they weren't talking to you. Okay. Yeah. You want to leave this person. All right. They're a good shot, shit talker, though. Okay, I'm hearing shit talker, shot caller. You take it how it resonates. This person barely talks to you anymore. This is why you want to leave. Okay, because you wondered about them. Like, what, what kind of problem do they have? Like, why come they can't, you know, you felt like they were straying away from you and that they were holding something inside. Um, probably something they couldn't handle, like, I don't know. Your person has a, a obsession with sex. I mean, I don't know the way to put it. Yeah. But this situation is about to end. Because, see, this person ain't talking to you. And you, you, you're you creating a lot of distress for your person here. Because I'm getting that you and this person are still together. What else do you want them to know, Holy Spirit? What else do you want to reveal to the collective? Please and thank you. Your person has been mind fucked. They may be out fucking other people, but they're mind fucked. Okay, is what I'm getting here. They do things that I could never ask you to do. This is why your person goes out and sleep with several other partners here. Okay, it's like a fix to them, you know, like a fix, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And whoever this karmic is that's wanna just come towards your person, okay? And they know you. You know what I'm saying? And they should have been honest uh, with you about sleeping with your person. I'm getting that you asked somebody had they ever slept with your person and they told you no. Okay. But you did ask questions, but you didn't get answers. If you did get answers, you got lies. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, you plan on leaving this person for good this time. Okay. Yeah. Especially if you find out they've been paying the karmic's bills. Because they have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of rumors going around, too, about your person going from hotel to hotel and how your person, like, you know, literally throws himself on other people. There, you know, or people may come up to you saying, hey, you know, your person watches me a lot. Your person's been stalking me. Um, you know, they know that your person has some type of obsession here with sex here. Okay. And there's a lot of low vibing bitches or motherfucking niggas that take advantage of this shit here. Yeah. And they be thinking nobody know that they ever slept with your person. They think they got away with that shit. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, some old snake ass hoe nigga. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yep. Yeah. They thought they got away with sleeping with your person, but rumors going around about they stink ass too. They ass went to the hotel with your person too. Wow. Uh, somebody got alcohol vibes going on here and shit. But I'm here, don't blame it on the alcohol. Somebody's person just constantly got love on the brain, but they keep, they have an obsession with having sex with other people. They need to stop making up excuses here. Okay, because somebody's person here is sneaky as hell. Messing around with a bunch of snake ass hoes and niggas out here, you know, meeting up at the hotel because they need a sex fix. 
Okay, but your person is a good manipulator, though. I'm talking about possibly a smooth talker, a smooth operator. Be a masculine or feminine here. Just to get what they want here. But see, now they're losing control. And this is why these confessions are going to come out here. Your person is losing control. Okay? They're, they're getting deeper and deeper um, into this sexual obsession that they have with other people here. Okay? Wow. They know they're losing control because... Yeah, you feel like you're, you're leaving this person. I mean, I can see you telling this person that you're leaving them, okay? Because they be with these sneaky assholes and these sneaky ass niggas at these hotels. Your person, I don't know. In terms of they may, they may want to move on, okay? And you might not know all the details about what your person's been doing, but shit is... is Spirit said, just know you dodged a bullet with this person. Because somebody out of this group um, has a, a sexually transmitted disease that your person was obsessing over. Wow, your person may have contracted something here. Okay. Yeah, your relationship with this person is become, becoming more boring by the moment here. Okay. Your person maybe sits around in daydreams. Uh, you may catch them in a Fred Astaire a lot. You know, that's because they're thinking about who they can go out and have sex with. And you guys could just be the main love or being intimate with one another. And they can't get enough. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You're just, it's not your fault. It's just your person has a, a fucking sexual disorder here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody doesn't like you being with this person here. Somebody thinks somebody married somebody for money just to go and fuck around with other people here. Or, you know, they may know that your person's going around fucking around with other people here. Mm, they may know that your person is sneaky as hell. They don't like them in your energy collective. They may have uh, let you know this, too. What else is here? Yeah. Probably even one of your person's karmic relatives told you don't trust this person. They're no good. You know what I'm saying? Wow, they're all about a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody feels like they're having an emotional breakdown. This could be you collective. Or this could be your person. Because I feel like your person is losing control of their sexual, sexual urges. And they're going to be confessing them to you. Okay, because they feel like they're losing control. All right. They thought they can get one over on you, you know, by being sneaky as hell, but that's not working out. Yeah. They want to stop. They want to stop this obsession, but they don't know how. Your person is even, like, somehow, like, when they, for some of you, I'm getting they only, they only in despair because they got caught. All right. And they're going to be confessing this to you because they ended up with an STD. Or uh, for, for some of you, they just, I don't know, they don't, they want to know, they really deep down inside, they want help. They want to know why Why are they so distracted. I mean, they don't even have a purpose because they have you. But why do they frequent these hotels and stuff with these snake-ass niggas and snake-ass hoes out here? Okay. And they're still doing it. And they feel like they're losing control. Yeah. They're still sleeping with the karmic. Because they, they find it very exciting. Wow. And it's not that they drink a lot. I mean, they can't find anything to put it on except there's something wrong with them. Collective. Okay. Wow. What else is here? Hmm. Yeah, strippers. Your person's into strippers are, yeah, they're hooked on strippers here. They're obsessed with watching them too. Wow. They can't wait till the strip club open. They're the first one in there making it rain. Wow. Somebody's sister could work it as, as a stripper or work in a strip club. Could be a bartender. They may have told them you had a little bit too much to drink. They may have noticed some odd behavior about your person. 
to God resonates, okay? Wow. They think that one of your relatives or somebody close to you that watches your person knows that you and your person have nothing in common. Uh, wow. Yeah. You, um... I don't know. For some reason, your person find, find, finds having these romantic love affairs on you is very exciting to them. Wow, and they can't have to go out and frequent these hotels and motels and shit with these snake ass bitches and snake ass holes and snake ass niggas, freaking freaky ass karmics and shit. And it's just a fantasy that your person is fulfilling, but. Uh, they love you, but in the most awkward, strange way here. Yeah, your person suffers from low self-esteem. Okay? While your person, when you when you talk to your person, they don't hear you. Okay? For some of you, you guys are not even speaking right now. Okay? You could be dealing with a karmic feminine. Whoa. Okay? Or you could be that feminine that's depressed here. Or your person could be dealing with a karmic feminine. Or you could be that feminine that's depressed here. Okay. Wow. There's a karmic feminine energy out here that wants you to be stressed out. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Then when your person still see each other, they hooked on them, whoever this funky ass karmic is. Okay. Be a masculine or feminine. Who's here, spirit? A fucking narcissist. I can see that. Somebody's a Taurus, a Cancer. All right. A Pisces. A Aries, a Leo, a Gemini. Aquarius, Sagittarius. Yeah, what they did, they can't take it back. Okay. Wow. Yeah. One of these karmics could be pregnant. Okay. Yeah. But you're, you're looking at it like the thought of you being with them. You know, them nasty ass <laughs> hoes and bitches. I mean, free fuckers. I mean, you know what I mean? They try to act like they stuck up, but they not. They ain't shit. You know, your person not pleasing people. And shit, they right there to be pleased. Okay, for a price I hear. And one of these karmics is jealous of you, though. Okay, your person could be gone for days at a time. This jealous karmic is the one that had uh, the STD here. Your person may have a STD scare going on. Okay, they may want to confess to you. All right. Yeah, they're still doing shit. I hear having romantic love affairs on you, but they still want you. Okay, wow. What else is here? Anything else here, Spirit? Something about the police could get involved in this situation here. There's something sketchy here. Wow. I don't know. Um, they, they do this shit while you're away, too. Oh. They may try something with somebody's sister here. And this sister may end up calling the authorities here. Okay. Or your sister, you may find out that one of, one of the um, persons that your person has been sleeping with, having a secret love affair with, could have been one of your sisters. One of your sisters could be into prostitution here. Or one of your close friends, somebody that's close to you. Yeah. You may not even be speaking to this sister. But she'd be at the hotel with your person too. Mm -hmm. Your person stalked her out. She was easily manipulated. Okay. I'm seeing a spirit seeing it all. I seen the all seeing eye. Wow, spirit seeing it all. This is all about to be exposed. Yeah, you've been having sleepless nights collective here. Okay. You about to cut out all these arguments and shit because you you wanna um get rid of this person or you plan on it. Yeah, you plan on walking away. Find your peace here. 
so you could be a cancer. Wow. You tired of being rejected or feeling rejected. Your person to excuse um, one of their confessions that they could they cheat on you because you're you, you don't act like you're in the mood or you don't be in the mood. Okay. Or they may tell you that this person threw themselves on them and they let them. Okay. They may come home with no money because they be the paid prostitutes. <laughs> uh, one, I'm being your sister. Possibly if you have a sister or somebody you look at like a sister. It could be a best friend. They could show you they were robbed at gunpoint or something like that here. Yeah. They also um, need to confess that they slept with their stuck-up ex. Okay. Wow. Wow. They slept with their stuck-up ex here. All right. They slept with your cousin. Your person has a sexual addiction here. Wow. That's why they can't talk to you about it. But they'll be confessing. What else is here? What does my beautiful collective need to be aware of? Holy Spirit. Uh, yeah, they all be smake, fake smelling in your face, collective. Because, see, you are stepping into your power. You are a king or a queen rising. You're in the spotlight, but you don't know why you do everything right. You don't know why your person would avoid you or block you off like that, you know? Or push you away or make you feel like they were pushing you away here but this is why these are their confessions okay wow spirit is going to expose everybody that went against you okay and who your person uh, stalked out to have romantic love affairs with because it was more than one they're going to be confessing okay they may know it's too late to get back with you especially after they caught an STD and they had an STD scare. Okay, a Sagittarius is here. All right. What else? A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is here. See, Spirit seen it all. Spirit seen it all. Okay. Your person thinks that somehow they can minimize the impact of the hurt and the pain that they caused you by saying they never took these karmics to your house. Okay. Especially this relative, this cousin, or this sister here. Okay. Or this brother. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. They're going to learn the hard way. Okay. They be smelling in your face and sleeping with your person. Wow. Wow. Somebody around you. Been, been on the shit was going on. Okay. Been on that your person was obsessing and having romantic love affairs with other people. They knew your person was a manipulator here. Mm -hmm. What else is here, Spirit? We got a Taurus here as well. Yeah, shit, this shit is serious. It's serious. That's what Spirit is saying. Okay. Wow. Especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, you don't want this person to touch you. All right, it could be any sign, but they've had some type of a sexual transmitted disease a scare. Are they unsure? Or they don't even know that they've caught one is what I'm getting here. That's why Spirit said it's serious. Okay. Wow. They're going to be made to confess to you. Yeah. There's a strong Sagittarius here. It could be any sign. But your person is living a very wild lifestyle here. Okay. Wow. What else? Oh. Yeah. Whoever has been sleeping with your person, they've been coming around you. Okay. They have a wild lifestyle. They live a wild lifestyle. Somebody that smiles in your face. Okay. And enough of the bullshit is what I hear. Okay. This jealous karmic... Uh, that ran towards your person because they didn't want to they were envious of you collective they've been sending you spiritual attacks okay this is why your person won't talk to you okay and this is why there's a lot of gossip going around about your person sleeping with a bunch of hoes and uh 
Whole ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? Are some hoes, period. Okay. People that sleep around. They're, they're really into strippers. <laughs> yeah, they're laughing now. <laughs> it can be so funny after a while. Yeah, your person knows it's too late. They need to get some type of um, counseling uh, for the sexual addiction that they have. Because they knew you wouldn't go for this shit. Okay. Wow. You've had enough. Yeah. So your person knows they made a big mistake. And this is why they're in despair. Because they can't figure out why they're so easily distracted and obsessed with having romantic love affairs on you. Because you're a good person to this person. Okay. You never cheated on them or anything. Wow. But... Mm. They be doing shit while you're away or while you at work. Okay. And they knew you would find out sooner or later. They know that you would find out sooner or later. Mm hmm For some of y'all they've been spending y'all money on these fucking karmics out here. Cause somebody married somebody for the money here. Okay. And they've been sleeping around. Having sex with them. That's what spirit said. So your person can't tell you the truth. That's why they're in despair and in anxiety here. For one, they, they, they're unsure of whether or not they have caught a disease because there's been some gossips and rumors going around that one of these um, hoes, that snake-ass niggas, uh, got some type of uh, sexually transmitted disease. And this karmic that slept with your person on purpose, they wanted to hurt you. Wow. Because they see you standing in your power here. Okay. They see you in the spotlight. They jealous of that because you're in the spotlight. Okay. Yeah, your person know, know you're going to find out uh, sooner or later. All right. They, they may not um, be unavailable. Or they weren't, were unavailable to you emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Because your person has a problem. They are obsessed with sex here. Okay. Wow. Well, for some of y'all, another energy I'm picking up is that your person is in love with your mother or your father. And they've been sleeping with your mother or your father. Wow. The Spirit said that's a no-no. They're going down for that one. Oh, wow. What else is here? They're very toxic. Yeah. I don't know. It's too late for your person. Your person feels like you gave them a lot of opportunity to go out and do these things here. Mm -hmm. To go out and get with these uh, dark energy, toxic people and have romantic secret love affairs with them. And avoiding your calls and your texts when you're trying to reach them. All right, whoever this karmic masculine is. Okay, could be a karmic feminine okay somebody's an Aquarius here okay your person <laughs> is becoming an expert liar okay and this is why you lost lost faith in your person here for some of you you're married and your person has committed adultery all right don't worry that karmic's not pregnant all right at least not by your person yeah they didn't want to walk away, but they didn't get pregnant either. They tried. They salty as fuck. They couldn't get pregnant by your person. Mm. It was meant to happen this way. That your person uh, didn't get this karmic pregnant. And this karmic knows it's too late. Here because your person is about to confess to you. What they've been doing. They may tell you they had a little bit too much to drink, but that's not the real reason. Your person has a mental, uh, your, your, your person is mentally fucked, okay, is what I'm getting here. With these sexual obsessions that they have, they've been trying to hide from you, okay. Wow, these sex cravings that you don't fulfill, collective, yeah. They have sexual cravings that you don't fulfill, so they go out and seek you know, love from others, okay? 
and then they blame it on these um, karmics and say that they're enticing them but it's truly your person has a problem um, a sexual obsession or having secret love affairs on you with other people people you know and also people you don't know okay multiple people here there are nothing but negative attachments or maybe your person need to be prayed over you know put some holy water on them because maybe they have a negative attachment on them because it looks like they're in despair they don't necessarily like what they do but they don't know why they do it okay but they just do it wow and your person is worried because they know if you find out a who, who they've been cheating with that you would leave them your cousin, your sister, your mother, your father. Take care of resonates. Somebody in your damn family. Or somebody in your group or in your social group here. Somebody that you're aware of. All right. Wow. Mm, I just... Wow. I don't know. Let me Let me get one out of here. Your person doesn't know why they have this craving to, to cheat on you. They don't. Double confirmation. They're thinking about you. They don't know why they have this craving for having these secret love affairs on you. But there's a negative attachment to your person here. They need to seek somebody that can help them do a spiritual cleanse or something because your person's definitely obsessed with sex and they blame it on other people and say it's not their fault you know they don't accept responsibility they reject the fact that it's on them and and, and they they make excuses and say to themselves and say they're enticing me but it's really your person your person your person's a manipulator here you wondered about them too your intuition tells you something of what's going on with your person that wasn't right. Okay. That, you know, they love chasing thrills. You you, you had that. And now they want to return to you because they're in despair right now. And, and, and tell you that they're sorry here. Okay. Uh, they want to confess to you that they're deeply in love with you. And they want to stay in a relationship with you. And that, you know, they want to stay in this connection here. Okay. But I'm saying you 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 you're feeling like you'd be better off without this person here, okay? Wow, you don't want to leave your heart vulnerable to be broken because of what your person does. Like they even look up people online. Like your person has a real sexual obsession here, okay? Wow, this is bittersweet for somebody. I mean, you wanted to know the truth, but you didn't want to know. But you wanted to know. Uh, yeah. Because you were depressed and wondering why your person was pushing you away. Alright, you probably gave this person everything they wanted. You know. But right now, you just want balance. Because things were un imbalanced. So you feel like things are imbalanced. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Your person's conflicted in the mind. Okay, your person's kind of cold with you because they have a desire for more than one choice when it comes to romantic uh, love affairs, okay? And they blame the other people instead of holding themselves accountable for what they do. But they're going to receive some karma because they refuse to suppress the urge to have these secret love affairs or these secret admirers or whatever, you know. And they blame others. <laughs> for even sleeping with them and that's crazy like you know they came on to me so I did it or they enticed me you know so that caused me to do it like no your person has some sexual urges that they cannot contain all right wow no fault of your own okay wow oh this person is going to be bitter when you tell them that you're letting them go okay you could be a divine feminine here yeah they may be bitter 
resentful and angry. They may say some hurtful words to you because they don't have a, a understanding, understanding or understanding of why they do the things that they do. Okay, they're just hooked on being obsessed with sex and they need a problem. And they're going to be mad when you release them or let them go or when you walk away. But they were pushing you away is what I'm getting here. When you find out all their confessions, you're going to walk away. Yeah. One day, someday, soon. You're going to walk somewhere away from their ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to dwell on it neither. Even though it was bittersweet. You was hoping better for this person, but the dishonesty, the deception, the trickery, the negative attachment. You've had enough of it. You've been too kind-hearted to this person. Okay? You don't expect this trouble from this person. All right? This turmoil. This cheating behind your back. Okay? And then, and this person want another opportunity with you? Wow. To just keep fulfilling their sexual fantasies with somebody else and... Wow. Brushing it off like it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Think that you're going to keep falling for them pretending with you that this shit never happened? Yeah, well, you're at your breaking point. All right? Because you're tired of your person chasing ass or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this relationship is falling apart or is sinking or your person is starting to feel hopeless. We have cloudy judgment. Now we have heart fog. This is because your person is about to confess to you that they messed up. They have blocked emotions. They really do. They need to go to a head doctor and get that shit checked out because their mind fucked is what I'm getting here because they give you mixed signals here. All right. Divine Feminine. I keep picking up on Divine Feminine energy here. Okay. They repeat these same patterns over and over and over again. Yeah. If somebody wants closure. Somebody's going to be leaving somebody behind. Somebody's going to tell somebody farewell. Farewell to you shattering my life, to you breaking my heart. To you destroying my life. Farewell. You know, you're exhausted. You're depleted. They don't get any more of your energy here. Okay, they've drained you. All right. Mm. No chemistry there. You're, you're ready for a new start. A start over a new beginning. Okay. You're keeping the faith that, that Mr. Right or, or Mr. or Mrs. Right will come along. Okay. This person that's in your energy now only wants to delay you. From your happiness here okay but spirit is saying stay focused on yourself okay nourish yourself okay and listen what you didn't know about your person they're they're about to be made to confess to you by spirit here okay and you're going to have a better understanding understanding or overstanding of the situation here you're going to have a spiritual awakening about your person here and about their secret obsessions here Okay, wow. They got love on the brain. Mm -hmm. Your person is a lost soul. They feel misunderstood because they're confused about why they do the shit that they do. But they, you can't help them. They have to help themselves, okay? Wow, Spirit said that's important. That's important. Okay, it's something about um, your person is like I don't know. They may feel abandoned when you walk away, collective. They may feel um, left out or they may feel that you did them in a cold way or whatever. But, I mean, I don't know. You, you don't. There's nothing you can really say because they were keeping too many secrets. Like, they concealed too much. Okay? And you had to draw the line and just tell this person no. You know what I'm saying? You had to set up some boundaries. Okay? Wow, but whoever you're dealing with is very, very, very arrogant, you know. They're very stubborn. They don't want to believe that they're in the wrong about this lusting and shit, you know what I'm saying? So you may not even be speaking to this person, or you may have to stop speaking to this person here, okay? Are you going to get this um, um, information about this pregnancy here, okay? And this is really going to piss your person off in the inside because... They knew they shouldn't have chased this person. 
All right, because they're really in despair about this one because this one they know they messed up with because they possibly got an STD or an STD scare. And they don't want to give it to you, Divine Fam. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, they're about to learn some karmic lessons here. Something's about to be over. Yeah. They destroyed them own, their own selves. You didn't do it. They need help. They, they can't deplete your energy no more. They've drained enough energy from you. All right. Why well, you guys don't share the same feelings? You're letting go and they don't want to let you go. But they need to cleanse. They need to purify. They need a spiritual cleansing. Okay. Whoever this karmic masculine is in the reverse here. Wow. Because they, they're, 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 these influences, these, these romantic love affairs that they constantly have with other people. But they still want you. It doesn't make sense. These third parties, you know, that they're easily influenced to get into this shit, to, you know, watch this shit happen, like, time after time. Okay? And you're growing more and more distant from your person here, putting a space between you. Okay? You feel the blockages and the commitment. You feel the infidelity if you guys are married. You feel the broken promises here. You feel this person... Um, ghosting you, you're tired of it, you're tired of them disappearing or, you know, just treating you like you're not even there, you know what I'm saying, like, wow, this person is going to confide in you about who they've been intimate with, too, okay, and who, who they've been craving with, craving for, these sexual obsessions here, they're going to tell you the truth, they're going to be honest, they're going to confess to you, Okay, this may be painful or cause some pain here for somebody here. When they find out that there is no more spark, no more passion for this person, that you're dealing with this karmic cheater, okay, and that you're going in a new direction, okay, that you're manifesting something else in your life and, and it doesn't include them, okay, they're going to be really um, hurt by this change that you're making here okay because you're focusing on yourself you're focused on nour nourishing your own life your own soul your own spirit your own heart you know your own needs you, you're getting clarity about what this person has been doing and is still doing okay wow about this obsession with having secret romantic love affairs with several partners your, your, your person claims to be a victim like they entice me, but no, your person is a manipulator. They love doing what they do. They love hooking up with whole-ass niggas and whole-ass bitches. Okay, your person's just a lost soul, and you recognize that. Okay, your person is confused and unsure, unclear about why the fuck they even do the shit they do. Okay, and you're about to be aware of why they do this. They have some type of mental conflict here. That's why you got to walk away from this person or you got to be walking away from this person because they have some type of negative attachment towards them. Here, all right? That's what I have for you now. And until next time, namaste for now.